Okay, so tuone namna ku install sales business information system. So sales ni open source module inayopatikana ndani ya enterprise resource planning system ya Odoo. Kwenye previous episode tulijifunza namna kufanya installation ya Odoo Postgres pamoja na PG admin. Pamoja na kufanya some configurations za database pamoja na users. Kisha tukaona namna ya kulog in kwenye Odoo server. So tulishia hapa. So today tunaenda kuona namna ku install modules kwenye Odoo. So Odoo ina lot of modules. Kuna modules ya sales, inventory, accounting, point of sale, purchasing, project, timesheet, human resource system, e-commerce, expenses and so on. So hizi zote zinaitwa ni nini? Zinaitwa ni uh, functional area information systems. Functional area information systems. So baada ya kusha install Odoo, okay? Kesho fata na kuinstall modules. Hizo modules ni information systems. So now, for example now, nataka ni install hii module ya sales. Module ya sales itafanya kazi kwenye organization yako au tasks yako kwenye process zote zinazohusu sales kama vile ku create invoice, ku order product and so on. Lakini kabla huja install module yoyote ile ikiwa ni sales invoicing or uh, inventory accounting any module before installation ni lazima u understand your business process ni lazima u understand your business process kwamba wewe unapofanya business zako biashara zako zozote zile unauza vitu vyako hivyo vitu unaviuza kwa namna gani yani ile manual flow of process unafanyaje now namna hivyo business una run manual unakuja ku fit your business kwenye information system So first step before installing any module understand your business process manual business process zako zinafanyikaje so na ukija kuinstall hii system itakusaidia ku automate business process na ku maximize profit okay so today tunataka kuona namna ya kuinstall sales lakini kuna nyingine ni point of sale tukoje kuona na yenyewe na inventory na tutakuja na namna kuifanyia installation Okay so now ki revise kwenye previous episode episode number 1 now tuliona namna kufanya installation ya Odoo no, Odoo ina steps tuliona steps zipo kama 5 au 6 tuli download Postgres PG admin Odoo tukafanya configurations za database pamoja na user tukaja tuka log in tuka... so now tunakuja kwenye kipengele hiki cha kuinstall modules na ku automate business process so modules ni hizo information systems ya kwanza tumeona nini ni sales ya pili restaurant third one invoicing fourth one is customer relationship management system and so on hizi zote zinapatikana ndani ya single software inaitwa enterprise resource planning system enterprise ni system ambayo ina collect functional areas za business functional areas za business ni department as well okay so today kwenye episode number 2 how to install module of course una biashara yako umefungua stationar okay gereji ya magari na nini unataka zile process zote uzifanyie kwenye mfumo of course ndo concept kama hiyo naozungumzia yani hizo zinaitwa ni business process kufiti kwenye information system ambazo ni hizi modules okay so now episode number two. before installing any module identify your business functional areas yani wewe kwenye biashara yako una department zipi una functional areas ni departments ili uweze kufahamu ni department gani utaitumia kwenye system kwa sababu unaweza kawa una department lakini ina mfumo mmoja mfumo wenyewe ndio wa human resource au na mfumo wa sales kwa kumbe huo mfumo unaenda kutumika sehemu moja tu kwenye upande wa human resource kwa wewe unataka ujue kwenye biashara yako kwenye your business how many system unazihitaji na hizo system zinaenda kwenye pati gani ya biashara yako eneo gani eneo la marketing eneo la human resource pati gani kwa hizo zinaitwa ni functional areas maeneo ya biashara yako yani departments as well so nikija hapa kwenye hii google now kwa kukusaidia tu hii ni just examples of functional areas of a business marketing finance operations management human resource accounting management research and development customer service information technology production distribution strategy sales and so on hizi zinaitwa ni functional areas sometimes 
watu wanasema hizi ni department ya marketing, finance, accounting wanasema kama ni department. So wewe una department ipi katika hizi mfano? Unaweza kuwa na department ya sales au marketing au customer service. Hizo zote inaleta ni functional areas. Sasa basi katika hizi odo information systems, hizi modules Unataka hizi modules ukainstall kwenye functional area gani ya business yako? Unataka finance au marketing? Yaani unataka hiyo odo, hizi apps, eh, utachagua app moja wapo labda sales. Hii sales inaenda kwenye eneo gani la biashara yako? Eneo la marketing au finance au sales yenyewe? So, baada ya kushakutambua uh, functional areas za business, now identify business process. Identify your business process kwenye hiyo functional area mfano ndo sales okay for example now your functional area is sales kwenye hiyo sales vinafanyika vitu gani mpaka mteja anapata huduma hivyo vinavyofanyika vinaitwa ni business process business process ni step by step product inavyozalishwa mpaka inamfikia mteja hizo zinaitwa ni business process so after identifying business process now unaweza ka install hiyo application ya sales Otherwise kama hujui business process zako of course huwezi kufanya jambo lolote hapa na shughuli itakuwa imeisha hapa. Kwa hiyo lazima ujue business process. What is business process now? Let me mention kama for example. I have customer 1 and customer 2. Hawa wateja wote wanataka huduma tofauti. Customer 1 anataka service ya accounting. Kama customer 2 ana request product production service. Or ana request invest inventory service kwenye inventory service hapa kuna production ndani yake au customer 2 ana request delivery service yani kwamba alisha ika order anataka order yake delivered kwa atabidi atumiwe invoice sasa basi hizi zote hizi zinaitwa ni business process yani mpaka mteja akoje kupata huduma anapita wapi okay so hizi zote ni business process business process under functional area inaitwa sales sometimes can be a department Again, hii is just like a simple flow chart inaonyesha business process. Customer purchase order after order sales order then determine quality or ship to customer and order inakuwa determine the quality yake then create a purchasing order creating voice and receive items. Ni process mpaka mteja anapata nini huduma. Yaani hizo ni business process. Another step is after identify business process now select a module under functional area select a module or apps under a functional area select a module under functional area ni kwamba kwamba mimi nataka install kwenye upande wa sales kwenye upande wa sales sales inapatikana kwenye functional area gani functional area gani so just click apps nakuja hapa na click apps and click apps nitakuja hapa hapa kwenye hii page nikija katika hii page nitaje kukutana na hizi hapa uh, left side left side hizi zinaitwa ni functional areas functional area first functional area is sales services accounting inventory manufacturing marketing human resource hizi ni functional areas so now now click sales after clicking sales now you can see inside sales nina application ya sales yenyewe restaurant customer relationship management point of sales subscription voice over internet protocol ebay and so on and so on kumbe hizi ni information systems zinazopatikana under one functional area inaitwa sales for example now ni activate restaurant inaenda kwa nizijue business process zinazopatikana ndani ya restaurant okay so now activate sales for example now na activate sales nita click activate after activating now you can see sales is activated okay Then sales kisha ku activated kinachofuata ni kui open sales. So nitakuja kwenye uh, nitakuja hapa kwenye apps, okay? Then ita select sales. Kisha msha ifanye restoration. Click sales. Now you can see sales imesha kwa opened. Now you can see this is a sample order. Order ambazo zilikuwa created. So na order hii hapa ya kwanza, order pili, uh, na hii ni third order. So niki click kwenye hii order, now you can see hii ni just invoice ambayo ilikuwa created kwa ajili ya customer okay invoice kwa ajili ya customer okay so now let's activate sales take click kwa ajili ya kuactivate so utasubiri kipindi cha muda fulani then hii sales itakuwa activated
Okay, so uh, after activating cells, kama hivyo sha zile steps. Unakuja hapa kwenye apps. Ukiklik kwenye apps hapa kwenye hii uh, floating bar itakaushuka hapa hii cells hapa hii itatokea hapa. Ringo sasa bado inafanya installation huwezi kuiona. Ni after installation utakuja kuiona inatokea hapa, okay? Okay. So ukisha kwa install hiyo of course ina install after installing now run business process in trial okay run business process in trial ukiona una kwamba una test cells unaona performance yake na nini kisha unakuja kuhamisha sasa business process zako ambazo zikuwa zinafanyika manual kuja kufanyika kwenye system lakini kwanza hakikisha hiyo system ume, umeifanyia trial umeitest kwanza kuona kwamba kama hiyo system ulio install hiyo app ulio install au module ime imefiti processes zako za business na zikuwa zinafanyika manual. Then step ina wafata tukuja kufanya optimization. Optimization ni kile kitendo cha sasa hizi processes zote ambazo zimefanyika hapa unazi optimize. Yaani unaziwekea kumbukumbu kumbu, ndio maana ku optimize. Ili siku nyingine ukija kuinstall software ya nyingine unafata the same steps optimize. Na unacho optimize ni kile kilichofanya vizuri. Ko processes zote hizi ambazo tunazifanya hapa ile ambayo imefanya vizuri unaifanyia optimization na hii hapa sales of course ndio hiyo inamalizia installation after then una maximize business profit madhumuni ya kurani business ni maximize profit profit maximization okay so now good so nitakuja hapa na module ya sales hii hapa so nita click module ya sales click sales okay now you can see module ya sales inaonekana hivi so now hapa ninaweza nika create invoice nika create order nika create customer nika send order kwenye customer email nika create customer na customer ka login nikafanya mambo mengi sana okay okay so kwenye next episode tutakuja kuona namna ya ku what create a product create a customer create invoice and create order